How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to talk about Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint for the Kindle Fire. And you're going to be able to access uh, files and documents like that through an app called Quick Office HD. This is the closest app to having the actual Microsoft Office program on your Kindle Fire. Okay? Now, it'll let you open, read, edit, um, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint documents, okay? So here's the thing. Your Kindle, you probably didn't even know it, actually comes with uh, a free version of this program, okay? And it's what's called a freemium version, which means that it's not the full version. Um, it basically will only allow you to read uh, documents and text files, okay? If you were to download the full version, then the full version will actually allow you to uh, edit and create your own uh, documents, uh, spreadsheets, and uh, PowerPoints as well. Um, let me jump into it and kind of show you how it works. Uh, if you go to your apps, uh, it'll be somewhere in your app section. So you'll see this image like this. It's like the one I just showed you here. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that. And then the first thing you'll see is, um, let me zoom in here. So we have uh, create new internal storage and recent documents. You won't have this at the bottom. I have it synced up with my uh, account with SugarSync, which is a, a online cloud uh, cloud storage service. And the cool thing is, it lets me access those files right from my Kindle. Uh, just to go over that real fast, uh, at the bottom here, let me see. Try to get my camera angles right. So if you go down to the bottom. You have uh, some options here that are a little hard to see because of the lighting. But one of the options is a little hard drive to the left right here. If you tap on that hard drive, it'll pull up this menu that shows you all the things you can actually sync with your Kindle Fire. And so we have Google Docs, Dropbox, Evernote, Catch, SugarSync, uh, MobileMe. I mean, pretty much all the major cloud storage services now. Um, it does say Google Docs, not Google Drive, only because Google Drive literally just came out, so I'm sure an update will uh, change the wording on that. But um, the cool thing is if you already have an account with any of these services, all you do is tap on it and log in, and then it'll pull all those files that you have affiliated with that account. Okay, so it just makes it easier to access your files because then you don't have to email them back and forth to yourself. You can literally log in, open up the file, edit it, and then that edit automatically saves in your cloud storage. So this is a, a great option. And in fact, just to point out, Microsoft Office doesn't have features like this yet. It doesn't allow you to sync it with uh, these services. Even if you're on the computer, you have to save it. You have to upload to those clouds yourself. So this is a big plus on this app versus the actual, you know, having the branded Microsoft version. But again, it has the same functionality. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to hit create document at the top here. And then, so if you see what it asks, it'll say, Create a uh, document 2010 07 or 97 to 03. Okay. And then. There we go. This is the part I was. Uh, missing right here. Um, so the first screen you'll see is not that. This is the first screen you see when you open the app. This is why I got a little, got a little concerned there, only because um, I know it allows you to create um, uh, basically Excel and PowerPoint stuff. But basically, once you choose the section that you want to go to, then it'll go to that next screen. Okay, and then as we go up here, you can search through different documents browse and then you can also go through your accounts so just uh, a lot of options it kind of takes you back to the same screen I showed you before so if we go back here down here where you check for your updates you can software support and explore let's go to quick word 
and now we're back to this screen okay and what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna create a new document as you can see what that looks like and then you can choose the format that you want it to be in I'm gonna go 07 and now just to show you the bottom this is kind of the whole look and I'm doing that just because it's faster to do this and to continue to zoom to different angles so at the bottom if you hit this keyboard and uh, click that down you have this little tiny tiny thing right here and you can just basically swipe up and it'll bring up the options to change the font let's see so you have a couple you only have a few fonts in here but I'm sure they'll add some more as the app progresses um, also you can change the font size you can you have a couple of shortcuts here and then you have your uh, paragraph options here, how you want to align it. You have bullets. And uh, it gets pretty detailed. This is pretty cool. So, And then you have your numbering as well. And what's funny is I have the iPad version and I don't even have all these options. So they actually must have built a really customizable, uh, really nice version just for the Kindle Fire. So... Um, and we can click that down there. So that's a new document and when you want to type you just tap the screen and then you'll start typing and things will show up on the screen. And then when you're done, come down the bottom here and click down the keyboard, hit menu, and then there's a little document that shows up here. If you tap on the document it'll ask you if you want to open, new, save, save as. I'm just going to go back. If I hit back it'll automatically try to get me out of the app okay and I'm just gonna discard I don't want to save it so I'm just gonna hit discard changes so now I'm back here so the next thing I'm gonna do I want to actually open up a real document so you can see what maybe one of your documents would look like on here so I'm gonna go to my share sync account and I have my document synced in there and we'll give it a second to load this last thing I'll show I just want to just kind of do some basic overviews I don't want to get too in-depth and there we go Let's go to Magic Briefcase. And go to my share folder. And I'll go to Flyer. This might be tough because this has a lot of graphics in it, but I'll see how it handles uh, the document. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. And I th wait, it's actually still loading in the corner here. Okay, all right, so we got first half. So it was only able to load a certain portion of it. This was a, a very graphic intensive document, so that might not have been the best thing. Um, I have a, a formal business letter. Let me do that too. That's pretty good. That should be a little bit easier. There we go. So I'm going to zoom down here. So now you can see this is the letter. And all you do is just go up and down to move. And I can just tap right in here. And I can start changing text. Oh, that date is wrong. Let me add the right date. Um, let's see. I need it to be the 14th. You know, I can do that. Um, so this is a great app that's going to allow you to view your documents and make edits as well. Okay. And, you know, Kindle Fire is already so convenient just because it's a great size. It's small. It's portable. And now, you know, don't just be able to view, but hey, be able to make changes if you want to. You might have spelled someone's name wrong. There might have been a time change. Simple edits like that you can make on here and save it, and then you're done. You don't have to open your computer or anything else like that. So... Let's go back. I'm going to discard. I don't want to save those changes. So this is a preview of the app in a nutshell. I mean, it does a whole lot, as you can see. And I've only really scratched the surface uh, on the app. But um, th this is the closest thing to getting Microsoft Office uh, on your Kindle Fire. So definitely recommend to get this app. Again, um, it comes with a free version or a freemium. Uh, download the full version. It's $14.99, I believe, and um, you'll be able to have full access to Word, Excel, and PowerPoint 
documents right on your Kindle Fire. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you thought of the video. Test out the app. Uh, let me know if you like it. And uh, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and keep watching. Have a good one.